Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Firewatch, where we need to, if I remember correctly, need to go up the um, tower again. Yeah, and there's something weird. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Yep, and I'm gonna take it with me. So we have seen the person. Is he or she response? Oh god. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry, you won't be cold. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Day two. Oh boy, I, how many days are we gonna hear, right? I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Good. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. I just, I, I do, <laughs> it's a, it sounds so stupid and corny, but she's actually exactly um, having the humor. Oh, I like, hello, yep, 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 you are already adopted. Oh, that is my comical relief, man. Oh, did I not put it? Anyways, it stays with us. Okay, good. So, we then will now already uh, crack on and head out. We don't need food. Who needs food? And we just need our rucksack. 
and then crack on. Good, good, good. So let's leave the tower. See, the thing is, I mean, you should, there should be some sort of key and the mecha, well, of closing up, right? That's what I would have guessed. But anyways, who am I to judge? So, but what would that bring us to hop in there? Now, did anything change? I mean, we've seen a toilet room. Where did that go? Okay, here's where the water comes down. Okay, that's a nice word. Cistrin, I know that word. It's actually the same in German. Uh, well, differently written. Anyhow, um, what am I saying? Sometimes my mind is going into mysterious ways. Now, zoom in. And survey communication lines north of the canyon. Thunder Canyon. So we... Yeah. So I'm wondering, do we need to go in the direction of Beartooth Point or Webty Widow? She said something about the cave, right? We are gonna first of all, for today, go back to the cave. And then, which should be here and then around, we go back to the cave and through the cave and from there on, I think we see that I'm going right and from there we see that it's probably this way up. That's what I think and hope and we'll find out. Yeah, I still need to go. There's the toilet. The restroom is maybe the better word. See, I'm going right, right? Yeah, now I'm on track. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. I like the outhouse and that rustic... I'm roughing it sort of way. Yeah, it's a little privacy among the seemingly endless expanse of, well, privacy. I like it all the same. Oh. I misunderstood the use a little bit. Sorry, that was my weird little teenage mind. I understood the use, not the door, but... The house. Okay, anyways, I wondered how that is, how they would have uh, implemented the usage of that. Anyways. Now, that is the way, right? If I take a look to the map, we are on track. Good. Lower the map. So I can react to anything which is gonna come up on the way. Okay, drop down. I would say climb down, but drop is a way to... Oh, whoopsie, hello. That I would not have done. Is this a better way than to slowly climb down the stones? I don't know. I have not too much experience with climbing down stuff. I've got to admit Uh, hey, I can see your tower. suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. You're at the canyon wearing the orange backpack, I presume. Yeah, that's me. Also, you need a new barber. Jeez, do you have the Hubble telescope over there? <laughs> just kidding. You're just a little blob to me. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. 
The forest could never burn down on your watch. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Okay, now she said the one uh, the one thing I need to know. She said, whoa, okay, um, bear tooth point. So that is where we need to go. And we are then crack on now, drop down. Until now, I mean, yes, we have had a little bit of trouble with a couple of teenage girls. We have seen a mysterious figure which shone light on us or which was mysterious in a way, right? I am curious if there's going to be either some natural trouble thing, like we are breaking, for example... Uh, a couple of bones or if there's gonna be some supernatural or if there is gonna be some trouble for example with a murderer not hoping but everything here is theoretical theoret theoretically uh, possible right so gonna be pretty damn curious what is gonna be happening next I think I think I see the cave I think I see the cave. I just want to make sure we are... Yep, we are. Sorry for my singing. A little bit of singing there. I should stop that. Okay. Ah, yep. Let's uh, report it's that. It's damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. Used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. Uh, hey, no, your button he is still down. Idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh... What? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Hmm. Delilah is annoyed. Oh boy, she was talking. I don't. I didn't feel she was talking about us, but that was strange. I thought she has the button pressed in order to get to uh, to let us know that she's in danger or something. Don't particularly thought that she is up to something.
Okay, we are still on track, but you guys, we are already then at the end of today's episode. And you know it, I, as usual, really, there we are gonna uh, roll down. Thank you there. Oh, hello. Thank you for watching. If you, let's actually... I thought I could... Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Okay, guys, that then brings us right now to uh, the end of today's episode. And you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed to enjoy today's episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully, I see you in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.